Ha oh, ha! Hello, me hearties! Dinky do, just me, Scotty McClue. Sunday night, nothing gets past me. Thought I'd pop up live for you and we could have a little bit of a chit chat just before I go to do my show on Nation Radio. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. I say, lovely to have you with me. And of course, it's early days. There we are. We're up a little bit sharp tonight, but I didn't think you'd mind that, to be quite honest with you. You. And uh, lovely to be back with you. Scott McClure, the World Stop broadcast on First Lord of the Internet, live on the big one. The one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is listening to. Facebook Live, Margaret Ann Thompson, Dinky Do, hello Scotty, Julianne Scott, hello, Graham McCulloch, Nilo Gormley, amazing stuff, fantastic, very good turnout, guys. Stephen Horsburgh, excellent stuff. Welcome, 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 I say. Uh, Anita Page, fantastic. Margaret Ann says, hello, Scotty, from Heart Hill. Excellent stuff. You'll be able to get Nation Radio at Heart Hill. Kevin J. Hart, dinky do. Hi, Scotty. You mentioned we could find Nation via Alexa. Can you explain more, as I only get options to go to YouTube, Amazon Internet, or something to listen to the music on? I think you just say, Alexa, play Nation Radio Scotland. So there you are, fantastic. What do we got here? Are we watching the Grand Prix? I am the Grand Prix. Um, French, you see, the great prize. I blame the Edinburgh Trams as Gordon Stilling. For what, Gordon? The fact that you're not driving a bus up Princess Street. Dinky do, Scotty. Good evening, Scotty, says Drew Volderzik. Excellent stuff. Lovely to have you with us. Diane Richardson and Thomas Hamilton. Good evening, pal, says Thomas. Good evening to you, pal, says Scotty. Scotty to Thomas. Uh, I tried that, Scotty, but it didn't work. Yeah, perhaps you have to go through something. There is a something you have to go through first. You have to set up a certain thing. I shall check exactly, Karen. <clears throat> but definitely it does work. My friend told me that it worked perfectly. So there you are. Brian Wilson. Dinky do. Excellent stuff. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, maybe somebody can advise us if you've already uh, tuned into Nation Radio Scotland via Alexa. Then do let us know. Uh, smart on it. Dinky do. Good evening, Scotty, from me and Motorbike Millie. Says Paul Cross and Motorbike Millie. Excellent stuff. Matt Ventisi. Hello, Dinky do. How's the harvest of delicious veggies there? Says Anita Page. Fantastic, as far as I know. Good harvest. <coughs> Pardon me. Gordon Roddick. Dinky do. Thanks, Scotty. Much appreciated. No, Karen. That's what we're here for, to look after you and see that you get the show, because it's a fabulous show. Uh, lights too bright, mate, says John Finlay. Too bright? We'll put it off, John. See, how's that? Is that better, John Finlay? Is that too bright for you? Or can you see all right there? Dinky do, I say. No, I think we'll put it back on. I don't think it's too bright at all. I think we'll pop it back on. Uh, David Jones, Dinky Do, Scotty Dinky Do, David, Sarah Jane Black, Scott Grant, lovely to have you with us, and Dinky Do, Paul McLean's there, Nick Baldy, excellent stuff. Good turnout tonight, guys, and I hope you're all ready for the show. Two hours of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment. Too dark, says Julianne Scott. I thought so, Julianne. That's why I put the lights on. I think he was just, you need to turn down your screen if it's too bright. Dinky do, says Craig Gordon. Dinky do, Craig. Excellent stuff. Derek Jimmy Walker, Nick Baldy, and Jule Luke Johnson. Lovely to have you with us, Jule Luke Johnson. John Adams, that's better. Can't see you. John Adams, you're getting a wee bit cheeky. So there you are. Uh, wonderful. Let's not forget the fruits, which will turn into lovely condiments. I know. Bramble Jelly. McClure's favourite. Rab Bruce, James Sheridan and John Robertson. Hi, Scotty boy. Hi, John. Dinky do and a very warm welcome. Lovely to have so many people with us tonight. First class and spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 and get sharing. Willie Kelly, David Mortimer, William Hanna, Michael Yule, all these wonderful people. Welcome, 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 I say, to Scotty McClure's Sunday night pop-up. Uh, so much to talk about tonight, so little time to get in. Tonight we're talking about parenting and um, should we actually, uh, uh, you know, get help with parenting for people. Dracula did well at the cricket, so uh, it was the opening bat. 
very good. Scotty on the radio, sense at last on the airwaves, Stephen Hosborough. Very, very funny. My favourite quote of me coming back on the radio was someone saying, whoever was responsible for Scotty McLuhan not being on the radio should spend the rest of their life standing in a corner facing the wall wearing a dunce's hat. Well, that was rather lovely. David Hennessy and Ben Lucas said Dinky Do. So there you are, Marie Sellers. Dinky Do. Welcome, welcome, I say. Uh, do you get a Polis escort to the Nation Radio studio? Ah, God and Stilly, I don't like to give all these things away. So there you are, Tony Richardson. Dinky do, lovely to have you with us. It does cause to curtail the show, Gordon. You probably noticed we finished about half an hour earlier. Scotty, do you think there'll uh, be a deal in Brexit? I would hope so. I mean, uh, Ronnie Stevenson watching Dinky do, top man. I think that somebody should ring uh, the EU and just cancel the whole thing to say, hello, sorry for mucking you about, but could we cancel the Brexit thing? And uh, just finish that up, would you mind? Replying to God and Stilling is called his hoose, says John Adams. So there you are. McClue Towers, Margaret Gibb, Dinky Do. Excellent stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So good to have so many of you with us. I popped up a play show last night, but for some reason the video didn't take, so, uh, so you don't have it. Uh, excellent stuff. Have you seen my impression, says Derek Jerry Walker? Why? Have you pressed yourself into the sand or something like that? Did you create a good impression when you did that? Wonderful. Come on, Derek. Spill. Do tell. Uh, if the light's too bright, I could try something else. Is that too bright? Is that better? No, I, you see, I think that's far too bright. I think that I've got a, yes, I've got a, a, an absolutely white light face. How about that? Do you like that one? There we are. Uh, I rang the EU. They put me on hold. <laughs> what have we got there? Nation Radio should thank themselves. Lucky they've got the world's favourite presenter on their books. I will tell them. No problem at all. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Right. What have we got gone wrong here? Hold on. Uh, there we are. I told you not to touch it. There we are. Excellent. Can you still hear me? That's it. We're better. You best not to touch things, I say. Scotty, there's no going back now. Onward and upwards, says Drew. Absolutely, Drew. Onwards and upwards, I say. Fantastic stuff. How's the lighting now? You're awfully white. Am I still awfully white? Smart, aren't it, dinky do? I like this one, says Julianne Scott. How's that, Julianne? We're a wee bit ruddy in the face, but, uh, you know, we can live with that. I look rural and bucolic. <laughs> Scotty McLean won. Now you're getting me homesick for New England, New Hampshire, New York, Vermont, Maine. Absolutely astounding to visit when you're on a USA holiday, says Anita Page. Fantastic stuff. You're in the USA. That's better. The light's spot on, says John Finley. Good, John. That's the one we'll run with. So there we go. Not a problem. And uh, Scott Buchanan, Dinky Do. Drew says that's better. Good stuff. Yes, that is better. Lush, says Julianne Scott. It's lush. And I've got some water here. That's lush. Mmm. That's very lush. So I hope you'll all be tuning in tonight so you can enjoy the show. Fantastic stuff. Loud and clear. Jason Conley, Dinky Do, Brian Wilson. The picture's perfect now. You're just a light, bright guy, says Paul Cross, and thank you, Paul. Loud and clear, most natural light now. You're a handsome fellow, says Anita Page. Anita Page, you say the loveliest things. I thank you. The blank screen's better, says Ronnie Stevenson. Well, what I could do, Ronnie, if you prefer, I can do the whole show in audio. I now have that facility, I've noticed. Uh, did you get the message I sent? It depends how you sent it, Thomas. You might have sent it via Messenger. I don't have Messenger because um, it interrupts the show. Uh, Sean McIntyre, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us, and a very, very warm welcome. You love the limelight, McClure, says John Finley. No, no, I'm just in the limelight. So the limelight is one of the things that you have to go through. So whether you love the limelight or not, 
if you're wanting to be the world's top broadcaster, then that's one of the things you have to deal with. So there you are, amongst others. So it's not a question of loving it. I love talking to you, John Finley. And if that means I have to stand in the limelight, then dinky do. Uh, it's better to see a face than audio, says Drew. No, but we can go audio if you'd prefer it. Ronnie Stevenson there, not coping with McClure's fasog. Wonderful stuff. So we can sort that out for him, I say, thank you, do. But I'll be on the radio later in uh, about 40 minutes or something, and uh, then you can listen. That's the best thing for you. you can listen, you see. Excellent stuff. Ian McManus, thank you do. A very warm welcome from East Scotty McClure. Sunday night pop-up just for you. What did we say? Show 117 tonight. Is that right? Or is it 118? It's quite difficult. I'll have to check. John, you spelt it wrong. Scotty, sort it out. There we are. I will, John. What has he spelt wrong? You sort it out, John. Your spelling's excellent. We've dealt with that for you. Uh, you remind me of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Scotty. You must spend each day pumping iron. Yes, blowing up the tires on my car. Dracula's favourite golf course, the Belle Frey. <laughs> Terry, where do you get this? This guy, I think, goes round at the sales and buys up last year's Christmas crackers. Thank you, I'm so amazed. What have we got here? Let me see. I need a page. Thank you. I'm so amazed when I find down-to-earth people. So California, warm climate, cold people. Don't you go and plug my motorbike, uh, says Motorbike Billy. So there we are. Motorbike riding dogs. So there we We'll plug that. Yes, we'll plug your page. Uh, John Dicknew, better on radio. I think so, John Dicknew. I've always said that. I mean, I started in television. I was on television for many, many years, but um, I think I'm better on the radio. There we are, and I can also have a cup of tea. James Sheridan, what about the mumbling pants? What are they saying, James? Uh, so divine dinky-doo, dinky-doo, Hedley McCarthy. Uh, was smokeless fuel invented for North American Native Indians who weren't talking to each other? Just a thought. Uh, there we are there, Sharice. Hello, Sharice. You've managed to join us. Excellent stuff. Welcome. Stephen Mooney is watching. Excellent. That's what we like. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McLean's Sunday night pop-up just for you, Dinky Do. And I hope you'll join me on the radio show. It's two hours of superb entertainment. Good evening to you all. Happy Sunday, says Sharice. Good evening to you, Sharice. And a very warm welcome. So much to talk about. Councillor Henry Anderson is with us. And dinky do, I say. Can we all have a share, guys? Can we share, 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 share? There's Mark Jones. Dinky do, Mark. And those motorbike rides are just sales, Paul, says Anita. I've been doing the dishes, says so It's Good for you, Sharice. It's about time to. What's your opinion on single mothers with hairy chests? says Sean Anderson. I don't know. I've never actually met one. Um, I did go with a girl who had, um, you know, long, long hair down her back. Nothing on her head, though. Uh, are we mentioned for Gemma, says John Dicknew. Absolutely. Uh, just my dog's Facebook uh, page, Anita, says Paul. My friend went out with a pack of cards and came up trumps. Excellent stuff. Very good. Right, Derek. May we begin that a wee rest just now? Although, funny as it is. Excellent. There's no doubt about that. If you've joined, I won't oh, talking back to myself there. Talk back to myself. Uh, hiya, Scotty, says Hamish Carr. Hiya, Hamish. Hamish, we really love your moothy playing uh, on the radio. Fantastic. So you only to give us a wee tune tonight. My messages keep disappearing. How's that? I don't know, Janice. There's always a wee difficulty you find when you come on. A wee challenge. But everybody else seems to get it okay. So I'm sure you will as well. Um, Jim McIntyre, thank you, do. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. I'm just going to share. And uh, that lets everybody know that we're on. Share the post now. Good, 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 good. All shared. Can everybody else share now, guys? Just to say you're watching Scotty McClue. And every time it comes around. Now tell me, do you get stuff from Scotty McClue coming up? Julianne Scott says, my messages are going away as well. Well, they're scrolling up, Julianne. Come on, Scotty, sort yourself out. John Adams, I'm the most sorted person 
on the planet. You need to sort yourself out. So there we are, disappearing. They do disappear. It's called scrolling. So there we are, that's what's happening. <laughs> Press the screen and they appear again, says Sean Anderson. There you are. There's Sean telling you straight. Press the screen. Press the screen, Sharice, and they'll appear again. Big shout out, Scotty, says Thomas Kennedy. Absolutely, Thomas. Dinky do. Big shout out to Thomas there. Marvellous stuff. Right. Share to our group. That's right. We'll let the group know that we're on. Um, do you think the backbenchers will get rid of Teresa? Well, why would they want to do that? Who else wants to pick that up at the moment? I haven't spoken to my mother-in-law for 18 months, says Drew. I don't want to interrupt her. Very good, Drew. Did you get that from me? That sounds like one of mine. John Milliken, dinky do. There we are. And there's John and Sharice happily talking. So that's good. We can leave them to get on with that. I'm just going to uh, share this, guys. Wonderful stuff. And they'll know that we're live. Excellent. Yes. Share that. And uh, and I'll share that as well. Good. There we go. And uh, one more. Yep. Share that one. Right. That's that. Hi, Scotty. Enjoyed the show on Friday night. Keep it up. Excellent stuff. We'll do our best. It's working very, very well. They all do these live videos now for some reason. So there we are. Who's they all, Sean? You need to tell me. Dinky Doo says Alan Doherty. Excellent stuff. And a dinky do to you from me, Scotty McClue. Live on Facebook. None of the women on the American side of the Ross clan. Uh, my great aunt have a hairy chest. The swimwear would show it, says Anita. Anita, you're spot on. It would, actually. Uh, the hairy chest would, would pop it there. Uh, Scotty, keep your hand in your hip day, says John Robertson. Absolutely, John. Sound advice. Right back at you. Can I get a shout-out for Mags and James? Cheers, Scotty. Dinky do, sir. Margaret Gibb there. Mags and James Gibb. Dinky do. From me, Scotty McClure. Hello, uh, did you like the video, says Derek, having a chat with somebody else. It's interesting, people have a wee show within a show on here. There's Richie McCusker. The only most recent comment shows unless you touch the screen. I slept like a log last night. I woke up the fireplace this morning. Thanks, Ma. These are awfully good jokes. Are they new? <laughs> By any chance. <laughs> Wonderful. Have you ever wondered <clears throat> why when you've got 16 windows and four doors in your house, Santa comes down the chimney? Um, wonderful stuff. Dinky do, Scotty, says Wedge. In Manchester, Wadge, dinky do, lovely to have you with us, and a very, very warm welcome to tonight's Sunday night pop-up. We have been busy, 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 busy tonight. Let us know where you are watching. If you're watching in India or Africa or Canada or America, Tasmania, the Arctic, the Antarctic, Australia, New Zealand, let us know. I'm good to listen tonight, says Wadge. Dinky do, excellent Wadge. I think you'll enjoy it. The show is three weeks old tonight. And it is moving on a pace. Wonderful stuff. Some brilliant calls. Scotty, it's not the same. You're coming on Facebook now, says Sharice. So there you are. And then she says she blasphemes. So I can't read that out. Of course it's the same. Why would it not be the same, Sharice? Charlie Sabaquius and McIntyre Dominic. The Maldives. Yes. If you're watching in the Maldives, do let us know. If you're watching in Australia... Then tap, 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 de tap, and let us know. Watching from Mahoose, but John Adams, people of Mahoose in Australia and in New Zealand and in India and Africa. So Mahoose could be anywhere. Knightswood, says Paul Crossan. We know that. Knightswood. One of a very, very good pipe band in Knightswood. Watching a horror movie, says Wadge. Wadge, that's a bit harsh on me. You're just watching a pop-up, really. Um, so wonderful. Amityville, says Wadge. Amityville. Why aren't you on the radio, says Darren? I am Darren, but not till 10 o'clock. 96.3 on the FM. Good evening from East School Bride. Lovely. Pontardry. Uh, hi, Scotty. Love your caps, says Derek. Dumfries. Lee, you're in Dumfries. You're a Dune Hamer. That's lovely. In my shed. So, Sharice, where is your shed, Sharice? Because they have sheds in Australia. 
Um, I'm waiting for you to play Scottish music on your radio show, says Anita Page. Well, it's a talk show, Anita, so you would be waiting for a long time. But I might be doing Scotty McClue's Hogmanay Bash at New Year, and there'll be lots of Scottish music on there. Who's Wadge? Wadge is Wajiha. You'll see Wadge there if you look. So you shall see his name. Fantastic stuff. There's George Mullen. Dinky do, George. Lovely to have you with us. You're all watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, and the first lord of the internet with the Sunday night pop up. Brian Wilson, I've been listening to your show tonight at a blinking ear infection. You could hardly hear anything. I'm fine now, Scotty. Did you get the wax out? Fantastic. Hello, says George Mullen. Hello, George. Good to hear from you. Watching with my eyes, says John. Very well done, John. A very good way to see things. Uh, Sharice, would you stop blaspheming or I'll give you a lifetime ban? So there you are. And uh, she's taking the name of the Lord in vain. Dracula was hungry. And I said, are you going out for a bite? Stop it! There. Scotty, you have more chains, chins. George Robertson. No, I'm not. I've got two chins. There we are. And uh, one or two faces. Hello, Scott from Hamilton. This is Jason McAlvin. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. Uh, you don't know you can do karate until you walk into a spider's web. I was like, well, I'm a black belt in karaoke. There you are. Uh, what are you talking about, Scotty? Uh, we're talking about all sorts of different subjects. We talk about everything on here. Hello, Scotty. Dinky news is Peter Dale Nevins, Richard Mackay. Welcome, welcome from me, Scotty McClue. Facebook Live popping up just for you to say dinky do. No such thing as God, says Ian Hales. <laughs> You're in for a shock, Ian. So there we are. We touch of the narcissism from you there. No such thing as God. How on earth do you know that? So there you are. You have to make a leap of faith. You have to believe. Uh, How is my getting a ban? You're getting a ban because you were blaspheming. Yes, you're taking the Lord's name in vain. Look at what you've written. Do you know anyone who wants... Uh, a vacuum cleaner. It's only picking up dust. How are you, Scotty? This is Robert Peck. Did you do, Robert? Nice to hear from you. Never even says nothing. Look again, Janice. Look again. And uh, then you'll see what's going on. Uh, Koyal Jan. Koyal, where are you watching from? Do tell. When's the snow coming, says Paul? Paul, it depends on where you are. If you live in the Arctic and the Antarctic, the snow will already be there. You're some man, says Jason McAlvin. You're on the radio tonight, says Gordon Riley. Of course, Gordon. I am on the radio at 10 o'clock sharp. And uh, Sharice, absolutely, yes, indeed, God help you. Uh, chicken in the oven, blimey, it's hot in here. Uh, shocking, thanks, Scotty, for setting folks straight. Absolutely, Anita, not a problem at all. Hi, Scotty, what have I missed, says Dino the Doug? Everything. You've missed most of the show. So there we are. Uh, Scotty, is Brexit worth the hassle? I don't think so, John. No, I don't see any gain or advantage at all. But there you are. Good evening, Scotty. My wee pal, it's nearly Christmas. Is it acceptable to put the old tree up? Well, it depends. Would it be different to put the old tree up from the new tree? So there you are. Some people have got one of these wee tinsel jobs. They just take out the box and plug it in. A black belt, yes, a black belt in karaoke. So there you are, excellent stuff. And uh, the, there's a lady there, I think she just sort of hears selectively. Wonderful stuff, Dinky Do. If you've just joined us, welcome, 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 I say. Don't forget, I'm live on the radio at 10 o'clock sharp in about, what is the time now? Let me just check what the time is, guys. So let's see what's going on here. Uh, 23 minutes. So I'll have to push off in about seven minutes. I'm enjoying you back in the radio. There's lots to gain in Brexit, says Drew. Drew, nobody's ever come up with anything yet. There's lots to lose. Today's the anniversary of Aberfan, says Julianne Scott. Do you know I remember the day it happened? The whole world fell silent in shock. Aberfan. Yes, so we send love and blessings to the people of Aberfan. Was it 1966? Am I right? Are you on the radio of the night? Of course I've said that. You need to be listening. Definitely. 
10 o'clock sharp on the wireless for you. And you need to tune in and get it tonight. It's so easy to pick it up. www.nationradio.scot. You're a busy man. I am a very, very busy man. But my broadcasting gives me a chance to rest. Put my feet up, you see, and have a bit of a chit-chat. So there you are. You've no idea just how busy a man I am. What's this about the radio, Scotty? I lost you there. George Mullen, back on the radio in central Scotland, 96.3 on the FM. And uh, we're right across central Scotland, so no excuses. So there we are. What wireless station are you on, says Martin? Nation Radio. So there you are. Tune in to Nation Radio. Hope you get some numpties in your show tonight. Neil O'Gormley. There's always an umpty. And um, Scotty, what do you think of the big and warming to independence? You see more celebs following. Well, I think so, yes. I think it's very, very important because it's just basically common sense, isn't it? I'm making a note of time difference so I can keep up with you from across the pond, says Anita. Fantastic, Anita. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, I have a DAP app for my phone. Ian Hales, excellent. We can all go and download the app from the App Store radio player and uh, just put it in. So there we are. Uh, I'm coming on, says Sharice. Good for you, Sharice. Excellent stuff. One wonderful stuff. John Robertson, I'm not going to read that out, of course, but uh, it is not true. Uh, so there you are. And uh, Derek's got his malted milk drink ready. I can understand why people can't see God everywhere. Just look at the beautiful autumn colours. Absolutely. Somebody came on and said, if there's a God, how come he's done all this and they had some tragedy? And I said, well, that's not God. That is the devil. That's why we have God. Yes, good must always triumph over evil. So there you are. Good stuff. Where well, you should be, Scotty, you have a good face for radio. Joking, of course. Of course you are. Did you or did you not say before we joined the EU you were against joining? We will have control over our affairs. Britain has never had problems when it comes to getting trade deals. Yeah, but the bulk of our trade deals are with Europe, and particularly Scotland. We've been trading with Europe since the 11th century or 9th century. When I was single, I bought a 36 quid Xmas bumper uh, tree. Bobbles the lot, Scotty says Matthew, up at a, a well-known superstore. Sounded good, says Craig Gallagher. Thanks, Craig, appreciate it. Jimmy Fitzpatrick, dinky-doo from me, Scotty McClure. And uh, when I got a universal remote control, I thought, well, this changes everything. I like it. Thank you. I'm glad to be here, says Anita. Anita, it's lovely to have you with us. This is the big show. I am the world's top broadcaster. I am the first lord of the internet. Everyone knows Scotty McClue. So tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. All across America. Scotty, you're looking very cheerful this evening. I hope the show goes well, sweetie, says Chanel Murphy. Chanel, thank you very much. Very much appreciated. And dinky do to you. Um, so, home rule or dole rule? Oh, I think home rule, Sean, definitely. Yes, I don't think we want the dole. Thank you very much. So, definitely, it looks like home rule might just have the edge there, if you put it like that, Sean. Excellent stuff. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's Sunday Night Pop-Up. We're live on Facebook Live. This is the big one. I beg of you, begging for a favour. I want you to share, 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 share. Uh, do you think 9-11 was an inside job? Martin Tierney, how on earth could anybody ever answer something like that? And if it would be, why would it be? Come on. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. I'm away to the station. Uh, if we can't get me till next Sunday. Hello and a cheerio. You'll get us at 10 o'clock, Cherise. Is theatre in your background, Anita? Very much so, Anita. Uh, I am an actor, a writer, and a broadcaster, and I've run uh, some very important theatres and uh, run an opera company, or a bit of an opera company, a national opera company, all these things. So yes, is the answer, the short answer to that one. Share, 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 says Matthew Roberts. Absolutely, Matthew, and dinky do. How's the time? I don't want to be late. The studio, I've got two minutes, guys. Two minutes, let's use it well and use it wisely. 
and uh, they will actually not be popping up every show. So there we are. So uh, I'll probably not see you again tonight. So you'll just hear me and you can phone me in. Of course, you've got the number 0141 811 My wife and I were happy for 20 years. And then we met. <laughs> Love it. My name's the famous actors of the 1920s, the silent era. Ah, yes, well, I'm the loud era. I'm the talkies. And it, uh, it is indeed. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to go. Absolutely. Uh, so there we are, John Adams. 9.30, pal. This is Thomas Hamilton. Thanks, pal. So I'll have to dash. Guys, it's been beautiful seeing you tonight. Mwah. You are gorgeous people. Come and join me on the radio. You should be able to get us anywhere. And um, Nation Radio 96.3 for Central Scotland. Give us a phone and let's chit chat big style with a CH. Until then, have a gorgeous week. Anything that you see pop up with Scotty McClure on it, send it round. Share it and share it and share it. When you're back in the radio, big fella, in half Half an hour, in half an hour, who's that, Matthew Roberts? Half an hour, Matthew, 10 o'clock sharp. Uh, shout out to Nicole, she loves you, Scotty, says Gordon Duffy. Hi, Nicole, dinky do from Scotty McClue. I'm more of a musician, a classical violinist, like my father, Anita, fantastic. Uh, <laughs> smiled it. People laughed when I said I wanted to become a comedian. I'm not laughing now. There we are. I gave up comedy because everybody was laughing at me. So there we are. Wonderful stuff. I'll have to dash. Guys, take care of yourselves. And there's a Scotty McClure. I'll sing you the song saying dinky do to every single one of you. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A wheat or zain, au revoir, and a cheerio. Do you know, my darlings? Dinky-doo!